If this is your first time on this channel, you are highly, highly welcome. This is a place for separate facts from the fiction, the science from the superstitions, and of course the concept from the misconceptions about African spirituality. Today, I am going to be talking about a very, very important topic. And uh, this is uh, the issue of causes and uh, why a good spiritualist must know how to cause. By this I mean uh, a good spiritualist must know how to cast spell that can cause destruction and disruptions of events or issues or affect people in a negative way. This is all very, very important. And I know that this topic will come very shocking to a lot of people. That uh, many people believe that as a spiritualist, you are not supposed to be cursing people. You are not supposed to be doing anything that will harm anybody. And uh, if you do this kind of things, you are regarded as an. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, just having a bit of cold here. If you do any kind of thing like this, you'll be considered as somebody that is evil somebody that uh, is uh, against nature or somebody that does not like good things to come to people so for some time now a lot of people have been uh, talking behind my back saying that uh, this guy claims he's a spiritualist or claims he's a champion of Africa of humanity but he causes people a lot he uses a lot of bad words on people he knows how to skin people to roast people to insult people. A lot of people say that about me. I know, I hear all these things you guys talk. So what is um, wondering them, what is uh, making them to surprise that how can somebody that is a spiritualist like this can insult people so freely or does not hesitate? Is he a real spiritualist or is he actually practicing what he's preaching or is he, uh, what is he? They're just so confused. Because uh, the mentality they have is that uh, as a spiritualist, you are not supposed to insult people. You are supposed to be like a um, holy, pious entity that if somebody insults you or does something bad to you, you will turn the other cheek. That kind of moronic uh, Christian philosophy, this is what they, they know because uh, we are being raised and bothered by Christianity. So we still have that thing inside us that is spiritually supposed to be somebody holy, supposed to be somebody that do not offend, that even though they are offended, they should forgive. My brothers and sisters, this is a very big misconception and this is one of the major injustices that is holding our spiritual progression back. This mentality of forgiving your enemies, this mentality of not uh, making sure people pay for their sins. And uh, for the bad things that they have done to you, it's a major problem. Okay? I want you to look at it this way. Nature is composed of every thing, good, evil, ugly. Nature is nature. Okay? For the fact that uh, some people venerate water, doesn't mean that if you jump into the sea, you don't know how to swim, you will not die. Okay? For the fact that people pray to God every day, you give offering, you do every. If you are in the wrong place at the wrong time, there's an earthquake, you will die. For the fact that you are a human being, you are all about hundred percent good. You don't wish to hurt anybody. If you find yourself in the jungle, in the wrong side of a lion, the lion will eat you. If the the lion have nothing to eat, the lion will eat you because the lion is hungry. This is how nature works. Okay, when you look at nature, you see that everything that has been created have a sort of way to defend and attack them, protect themselves. This is the way they were created. For instance, imagine uh, a dog that cannot bite. A dog naturally have teeth, right? They use their teeth to defend themselves and also to attack. Now, if you see a dog that does not know how to defend, uh, yourself they don't know they don't bite people they are not harsh will that kind of dog last check it out or imagine a snake that doesn't have venom will people respect that kind of snake they will treat it as a garden snake right 
maybe only children will be afraid of that kind of snake. So uh, as a human being, we have things also that we can use to protect ourselves. And uh, we have to be using them. Okay? You have hands. You have uh, legs. You can run from danger. You can run towards it. You can attack something. You can defend. You can hunt. You can fend for yourself. You can create. You can also destroy. You can speak good words. You can also speak bad words. We have this capacity in us. Okay? So the difference is that uh, how do you use it? When we see good people or good things, we do good, we speak good. When we see evil, we defend ourselves. It is the way it is supposed to work, right? You need to know how to balance the use of the things that you have. So uh, when it comes to spirituality, as a spiritualist that is very, very understanding and versatile, you need to learn how to do the same thing. Okay, for your own protection. There are people out here that you think that everybody is good because you are good, but uh, not everybody is good. The same way nature, not everything is kind to you. The fact that you love nature so much, if you go into a jungle to go and camp inside, you might become the food of nature. A lot of things inside there might want to eat you inside the jungle. They don't know if you are their friend or they don't they don't care if they are hungry, they are hungry. You step into the wrong place. Uh, you might become you, you might never come out of that jungle alive. So you need to know how to live. What we say in harmony. The harmony we are talking about, so it's not a um, kumbaya, just um, open your mind and just become stupid. Then allow anybody or anything out there to step on you. Because you are not trying to offend. That is stupidity. That's not what I mean when I say live in harmony with nature. Okay? When I say live in harmony with nature, try to understand all the things that are <laughs> inherent in nature, the good and the bad ones. So you know how to live with them. So that you will not become their victim or you will not become their dinner menu. Okay? This is the harmony I'm always talking about not harmony of sleeping and forgetting about the dangers that are always lurking around. There will always be dangers in nature, okay? I say this a lot of time that God is not perfect, nature is not perfect, it's just the way it is. There will always be earthquakes, there will always be typhoons, there will always be tsunamis, there will always be drought and any other kind of natural disasters. This is part of nature. We need to know how to live in harmony with them. Okay, so that we will not make the mistake of becoming their victim or being at the wrong place at the wrong time. So this is our life work. That's why we need to study nation so that we can live longer and last longer and uh, try to enjoy life in the flesh as much as possible or make it a much better and safer place for all. So living in harmony does not mean that uh, everybody is your friend. Okay. There are people out there that they seek to destroy other people. They seek to bring misery, sadness, and sorrow to this world. Or they just seek to make people unhappy. Now, when you come across such people in your everyday life or activities, how do you treat them? Do you allow them to get their way? Do you allow these kind of people to just come into your space and step on you? I will say no. In my case, I don't tolerate those kind of things. So, for the few years that I have lived on this planet, I believe I have have enough of people that are stupid and people that are wicked or these kind of people. I think I have enough of them. So for me now, I don't know about you, but my patience is not so long like before. So I don't really take uh, nonsense from people nowadays. I am a bit old. I'm over 40 years, by the way. So I believe I have seen enough to last me more than even 10 lifetimes. So when I see this kind of people step into my space, you to experience, I already know who they have, I already know what they are all about. So when they bring this kind of shenanigans to me, I do not always hesitate to fire them because I have a lot of things I am ready for them. 
And uh, I consider myself as a spear of justice. Not only that, I consider myself as a force of nature. I also consider myself as somebody that is doing the work of the ancestors, trying to restore order and balance to these worlds. So when I see imbalance, and I know I have the capacity, I always try to step in to bring balance to the situation. So when I see this kind of people come to my space, or people try to do something, like when I see these white people coming to uh, talk trash, these people that have always been oppressing African people, these uh, criminals, I don't hesitate to, to blast them. And what do I use to blast them? I talk the truth. I expose the truth. It's not that I advocate violence. I just, words of math, I say the truth, expose it. Just the power of words. As simple as that. And they're always wrong. They run away. This is what we use. Your mouth. This your mouth is stronger than guns. Your mouth and your pen. This is the weapons that we use to fight evil. Do you see me only knife on this channel? This is what I always hold. This is my most powerful weapon. The pen and my mouth. And I believe that is all I need. As a good spiritualist, you must know how to use these two weapons very, very well. These two weapons, your pen and your mouth, they can do a lot of things for you, powerful stuff. This is what people use to change empires. You can use this to destroy people's life faster than a gun, faster than a bomb. You can use this to sow seeds that will last hundreds of thousands of years. You can also use this to bring people down if you know how to use it effectively. So, as a spiritualist and as a human being, two of your greatest weapons is your pen and your mouth. Okay, your tongue. Your tongue is fire. So, you should know how to curse. Because these bad people, if you don't do anything to them, nothing will happen to them. And you are not fulfilling your responsibility of bringing balance, truth, justice to this planet. So by you seeing evil or seeing bad people misbehaving, then you keeping quiet. It's like you are encouraging them because silence is consent. You are supporting them. You are endorsing them. You are giving them more power to continue in the nonsense that they are doing. That's why a lot of us need to speak out. And that's why you see uh, some people coming out to censor other people, to block other people's voices so that people will not hear what they are saying. Because they know that there's power in the voice, there's power in the words. So you need to speak out. We all need to speak out. All of us that are on this path, when we see evil things we don't like, we need to speak out to stop it. That is the first step. By pronouncing judgment against it, you are actually invoking your spirit, invoking whatever power you have to come against that very thing. You must pronounce judgment. You must speak against it. You must renounce it. Okay? You must curse it. You must pronounce destruction on it. You must pronounce hell on it. Anything you want to say, you must pronounce it. You must curse the thing. Okay? You must fire them. Blast them with your mouth. Reject them, your spirit, body, and soul. You invoke this thing. You say what you want to say. You say your pronouncement against the situation. You reject it. Okay? This is how we do it. It is very, very easy. So when I see... Uh, some people, I will be on my own. Some people will come uh, into my space, uh, come into my WhatsApp, uh, claiming they want to do service or they want to uh, join my study group. The next day they will be insulting me. Uh, some openly, some self-saviently, trying to talk me down, trying to do some kind of things to make me upset, to make me feel bad about myself. Uh, thinking that... Uh, as I'm a spiritualist, I cannot do any, I'm not supposed to insult them. They're thinking that I am like these fake pastors of Christianity. That uh, they say turn the other cheek. So when you insult them, they will be pretending in public. They think that they are looking at me with that kind of pastor high. But uh, they don't know that they are in the wrong place. So when I fire them, eh, the way I do my own, eh, 
when I get hungry, I I, I make I wash you. You know the way that they wash clothes. I will wash you from head to toe. By the time I finish with you with insults and curses, and the person they if they feel like say that they did deaf and dumb for like two days, that they did deaf for two days because they will not expect that somebody like me can be able to say such kind of words to them. So psychologically, um, they the change because you make sure that they feel the they feel the impact of the course. You cost them very well. So uh, next time, they will not try that kind of behavior. This is the essence. So by cursing people, most times, it's not that I'm wishing them bad. I am not insulting the person per se. I am insulting them as for being a human being. I am attacking that evil spirit that is inside them, that thing that is making them to misbehave. That is the thing that I am attacking. Okay, that is the thing you should focus on. So the essence of that cause is to destroy that evil force that is emanating them, to remove it from them. So in other words, I am actually doing them a favor by causing them. I am, uh, how would I say it, exorcising them. You know the way this uh, Catholic, the casas evil spirit, they call it exorcism. I am exorcising them or I'm exorcising them. I am removing that evil spirit that is making them to misbehave from inside them by causing them. So at the end of the day, um, you will find out that, that uh, two things will happen. Either that person will become a, a better person in life later on because of this incident, or they will go on into their wayward way and they will quickly destroy themselves, depending on where they gravitate to. So by you causing the person, reprimanding them for the kind of evil behavior they have, you are actually helping them. Okay? You are actually healing them and uh, you are actually trying to reach out to to them to make them better people okay so cost is good <laughs> if you look at it this way it is a good thing okay so don't think that uh, everybody that is causing somebody is a bad person think of it this way imagine a snake on its own like a python or let's say a cobra a cobra has venom the venom of the cobra is to defend himself. If that cobra is walking on this, the bush, then maybe a lion comes. Then the, lion, the venom, the cobra don't want to die, spits in the eyes of the lion. And the lion goes blind. It is a, the, the cobra did a bad thing for defending himself from not dying that very day. Simply defending himself with what they have. Same thing, the lion too can be walking on the bush there, maybe a cobra wants to attack. The lion will slash and smash, maybe split the cobra into two with its fans or bite them, whatever. The lion too did not do a bad thing, but simply defending itself with what they have. So as a spiritualist, you need to know how to defend yourself. Who will be doing all these things? Please, uh, don't worry about that. So, uh, as a spiritualist, you need to learn how to defend yourself with what you have. If people, you keep allowing people to step on you, you will be like a dog that does not bite a toothless bulldog. You will not have respect, number one. And respect is very, very important in this, let me call it business. It's very, very important. People need to be taught lessons from time to time. Because many of the people we have here, many of them, I consider them as cannon fodder. Many of them lack home training and people just want to test you. They want to test your character. They want to test if well, your, what you are practicing is strong. They want to test your spiritual. They want to test your spells. So when these people come to you, please do not disappoint them. Do not hesitate to release anything you have against them so that they should know how life is from your own perspective okay so you need to cause them some people don't respond to soft words 
in my place from Africa, we are very stubborn. We have so many Africans in Nigeria, they are very stubborn people. When you tell them small, small things, um, politely, memira, memira, soft words, they need to listen to you. But when you cause them, it depends on where, where. Then they hear that one, where you insult them, where you tell them something, where you go pain them. It's like a cut stick to the hearts. Now that one, they, something deep, now that one that they hear. So when they step into your space like this, you look at them very well. You look at the person very well. Person, no, do not hesitate to fire them. Make sure that you wash them the way you they wash uh, clothes. Finish them. Like me, now I know how to. I come from worry. We know how to do this kind of things We're very well. Oh, uh, wahala mechanic. You, I feel wash you for like five to ten minutes. I still they insult you. They they cost you. They go finish them for, from head to toe. By the time I cause people finish, most times they, they, they behave like deaf and dumb for like two to three days. Before they can't collect themselves again, they can't remember themselves again, they can't recalibrate, they can't start to live life. And most times I notice that after I finish with this, insulting these kind of people, most of them become better human beings later in life. So, what does this mean? It means that I actually help them to become better people. I actually help them to change their life for good. A good man is a dangerous man that knows how to keep it under control. Okay? If you call yourself a good man, you don't have capacity to protect yourself. And you don't have capacity to protect what you value. That you are that is uh, you have put yourself in a very dangerous situation. Imagine you having a house, you have all this expensive stuff inside your house, but there's nothing to protect your house from thieves. That is not a sensible thing to do. Anybody can just break in and steal your property anytime. It's as good as giving it free to, to people on the streets. So you must protect yourself, please. You must find a way to protect yourself. And uh, you must use what you have to protect what you value. Okay, so as a spiritualist, you cannot say I'm learning only the good sides. And uh, no, we walk the path of the day and night, the light and the darkness. We walk, we learn the two paths to bring balance. You must defend and you must attack. You must know this heart. This is how you balance yourself. This is how you... You balance yourself in the study of nature, in the study of spirituality. You learn the good and the bad. Okay? They say it's better to be a warrior in a garden than to be a gardener in a war. It better make you know how to do something, but you don't need to do it, than say you don't know how to do it when you need it. Then you can't run, can't you come call somebody like me to come help you. Of course, I will charge you, and I will do it free. I will charge you for my time. I will charge you for my services. That's why you need to learn this stuff. I keep saying, come, I need to learn this stuff, but people need to take us serious. I may not be here forever, okay? But once you know and you don't know them, my aim is to teach this stuff to as much people as possible, as much African people as possible, so that the knowledge will spread. And, uh... We will preserve our culture, we will preserve our spirituality, and we will know how to use our own venom to protect ourselves when we need it. This is my philosophy and this is my aim of doing it. That's why I come online. More than register for this class, it's more than learn this stuff, more than learn this stuff. People need a great learn. Some people will come to the one learn the next thing they could they talk to you anyhow. I have to cost them. I have cost a lot of people. And I don't regret any single case because I believe every single time the Nico Pumps that deserve it. They, some of them underrate me, some of them underestimated me, some of them were just here to attack me spiritually. I have these people coming in from Nigeria, some of them know me, they know me from my family before. They will just pretend because they want to get close. There are people that, that cannot even talk to me face to face. But they see my YouTube channel, they have my number, they will sneak in to want to be pretending. I just know you want I, I cause them. I don't hesitate. I cause them. 
the way I cause them, eh, I cause those ones much more. I make sure that I follow up the courses afterwards with more on top. There's a spell that I'm going to teach you guys in my in my inner class on how to cause people very well. I will do, I will teach that spell on how to, there's something you hold when you make pronouncements, it becomes stronger. I will teach about that thing in my inner class for people so that you will know how to cause people. It is very good to cause people. It uh, gives you happiness. It gives you satisfaction. It makes you feel good about yourself. And uh, it teaches people lesson. You, you, you have to become the spear of destiny doing the work of the ancestors. Some of these people that come to you to look for your trouble, they're actually looking for people to cause them. That's why they came to you. Their spirit have been telling them that uh, you need help, you need help. Go and look for the trouble of this person. It will help you. They, they will come into your space to look for your trouble. And when you see that you see this person come, you give them the trouble. Don't hesitate. Give them what they are looking for. If they are looking for a good thing, you give them the good thing. If they are looking for trouble, give them the trouble a hundred times like Mashek Fashek. Don't look back. And after you give them this trouble, after you cause them, you find out that you, you are even feeling good. Good things will even come into your life. It's like the universe will even blessing you for cursing these people. It's so funny. It's like they deserve their, it is like destiny thing. They actually deserved it and uh, this is what's supposed to happen. You are supposed to do this to make them better people. Okay? This is how it, this is how it feels. I don't know how to explain it, but uh, sometimes it's celestial. Somebody come to you looking for a trouble, then you cause them, you finish them. Then uh, you find out that uh, it's like the universe will be saying, thank you for doing this good work. If we go to Christianity, they say, um, or maybe the Christianity stole it. I don't know whether it's um, spare the rod, spoils the shy. As a shy, if, if you want a shy to be good, you must have king in the house. You must discipline your children for them to be good people in life. If you have a child, you never flog them. They always become spoiled when they grow up. Yes or no? The, is the, the imperative of the parents to make sure that they bring a child of good standing moral character to, to this life. So you must discipline your child. Teach them good things and, and what to do and what not to do. Teach them good moral character. You can must be inside that house. I have two canes in my house. I discipline my son. Because I don't want him to grow up to misbehave him. Then later on, when he's grown, they'll, say, they'll start insulting the parents. What kind of child is this? They'll start blaming. And it's true. They, if you see some children misbehaving, you know that they, they, were, they don't have good parents. And if you check, it's always true. The mother and the father never discipline them enough. That's why they are misbehaving as adults. I don't want to be my later in life the people be insulting me because of my 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 children i don't want to be that kind of parents my children will be walking everywhere bringing disgrace to everybody that say who born this picking who born this child your father and your mother did not take care of you there are people like that every day there is one boy here the other day big boy of 30 something years he does not take his, his shower he does not bath could you believe i met a boy that doesn't bath doesn't take shower. And when you tell him, why don't you take your shower? I get upset. We want to fight you. This is a man for crying out loud. He's smelling 24 hours. There's somebody like this right now. So I looked at this man lacks home training because probably his parents, they were not teaching him how to take shower. How They don't teach him about personal hygiene. So now he's an adult. He's smelling everywhere, causing problem because he lacked good parenting. So, disciplining children is good, okay? You need to know how to discipline children. And also, to, to discipline people too is also good. You are doing a service to humanity. You are doing a good service to the community by cursing these people, okay? So, don't look at it as the bad thing. You are actually helping to do the work that their parents failed to do to do the work that their family members fail to do, to do the work that their school or wherever they are, where their village fail to do, you're actually stepping in to help. Okay, so you must learn how to cause people. It is part of the work description. You want to be a good spiritualist. You can't let anybody to come be taking you for granted. 
Be prepared. Be prepared to fight them. Be prepared to resist them. Be prepared to cause them. Swear for them. Use all the names where you know all the algo go them. All the all native shop. No one for their high. Cause them. Cause their papa. Cause their mama. Cause their generation. Cause their seed. Cause everything about them. Finish them. Wash them like plates. May they get sense. By the time you wash them, finish them. Me, I said, be wash people. When I wash, most times when I finish people like this, they be like deaf and dumb for two days. They are in the play because they think they enter them well, well. After that time, it's either they colo or they become better people. There you have peace of mind. So, don't look causes as a bad thing. Okay? They are very good thing. You must know how to use them. Okay, just like gun. You can use gun to go and kill people. You can use gun to defend yourself. So you must know how to use causes. Cause the people that deserve the cause. Bless the people that deserve the blessing. It's a two-way sword. This is how it go. And when you're causing somebody as well, also make sure that you are not guilty of the same sin you are causing in that person. Make sure that that thing you are to complaining about, you are causing that, but you don't do it. Because if you're doing the same thing and you are still causing somebody, especially publicly, of that, the same thing you are also doing, it will go back to you. It will revise back to you. So before you come out to say you want to cause people, make sure that you don't, you are not guilty of that, the same thing that they are doing. Okay? So that it will not bounce back to you. And also too, the cause too will not work on them. Because both of you are the same now. Pot calling kettle black. <laughs> it not make sense now. In that case, you are just an hypocrite. So before you come out to cause people of something, make sure that you are don't also do that thing. Because if people get to find that, your whole punishment will be worse than that person that you have been planning to, you have been causing ever since. So you should also know this that uh, it comes with responsibility comes with a certain sense of action okay so this is my take on the issue in those days when i was starting sp learning my spirituality i was in studying western occultism i came across a guy spiritual that was very good in cursing when he was talking about how he was cursing people i was like this guy must be a very bad person how can you be a spiritualist and you have been cursing people is that guy say i've been cursing people for 30 years he was talking all these cases. He was writing in his Facebook. Very proud guy. I was saying this man must be a very wicked man. I was because I didn't know anything there, but now I see reason of why why he was doing what he was doing. He has experience, and uh, what he was doing actually makes sense. Now I see the reason. There are some people that deserve these courses. There are some people, and the courses is designed for them to help them. Either to help them ascend or to help them to descend. So when people come to you to misbehave, they are there for a reason. So when I see these people coming to me, I look at them. They come, they're talking. I tell them politely, they're still misbehaving. I don't hesitate to fire them. And true to type, many of them have become good people. The course center them. Their life changed. So it means I was supposed to do it. I do a very good thing. So don't look at this as a bad thing, you know? okay? Those people that are saying, if it costs too much, you guy, you're always blasting people on this channel. I know it's how they do. You see the people I blast on this channel. These are people that have been doing a lot of bad things for so long, and nobody has been saying anything about their situation. I talk about African spiritualists, the ones that are doing this initiation thing, charging. I need to say something. This is a situation I've been going on for so long, everybody's keeping quiet. People that are forcing other people into superstitious belief. I, this, we need to say something. This talking about the issue, bringing clarity, it brings liberation to the minds of people, to the hearts of people. It brings freedom, empowerment. So if I don't cause these people, other people that they have been holding in bandage will not be free. You see it so i need to lay courses on them so that those people those of you that, that they are holding bandage might be free from their grip that's why i need to come out openly and i need to hold my agogo or my barrel and i need to curse them 
so that my people can be free. I need to curse them publicly. I need to curse them in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening, in the night. I need to curse them. And I do this and I don't regret and I feel happy doing it. This is how I free people from this stuff. Then I come and see the white people, the Christians and the blue, blah, blah, blah. I need to also curse them too. So that our people can be free. Okay, so we say cursing is not good. Cursing is your power, man. Use it. Come aside, curse them publicly. Expose them. If you don't curse them, if you don't speak, you are part of the program. So you need to curse them. So curse is good. Okay? As a spiritualist, you must learn it. If you don't know how to curse, I will teach you. Okay? I have been cursing people for a very long time now. Nothing has happened to me. <laughs> So don't look that uh, spiritualists cannot curse. I curse very well. Okay, I know how to I know how to wash people. I know how to wash people very very well. That part of my job description, and I don't hesitate, especially when I see you parading, you living a fake life. I know that you I can see you for what you really have. I will expose you. I will expose you, bring you out, naked you. Tear that thing from your body. That if I cause the person, you finish. I mean, I don't say it will change. So a lot of people are afraid of me because they know I'm not. I need to waste time to cause person. It's part of my power, part of my protection, and I don't hesitate to use it. It's part of my venom. I have enough. Besides, I have a lot of spirits in my altar that don't have any job. I have a lot of jobless spirits. So I need to send them message from time to time. I need to send them to go and do some work. Okay, so I need to call some people so that they can also go into the life of those people to, to do what they want to do. I have a lot of spirit friends that don't have work, that are looking for people to give them one or two things to do. So if I see you coming to me, it means that uh, you need a lesson and I will not hesitate to deliver. So this is the thing, you know, those people that are looking like me saying I, I cost too much. I can hear you people very well. It is part of the job and uh, it is for the good of humanity. Okay, you just know how to do it very well. You must be true to your word and you must be ready to fight. It's not that with internet you're cursing people over the internet. If you see them face to face, be ready to curse them all because some people will find you commerce. So you must be ready to stand for what you believe in. Okay. So it's not that because with internet you cause people on Facebook. I don't do that. I don't insult faceless people. I try to focus on the people. I know the people that I go after. Don't go. You if you send me random message, people also cause me too. I look. I don't know where to trace you to. I don't. I don't waste time. I want to see you one on one. Okay, let's trade. But the people that will never come face to face. People because they cannot even talk to me face to face or be sneaking behind them. How do they call it? Uh, there's this name. They call it I've forgotten it. Trolls. Yes, they are trolls. I don't have time to waste on trolls. Why people do this? Do this a lot. Somebody will come and be trolling you, talking trash. I just block you. Boom, 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 boom. You want to cost me? Come face to face now. Make we see you well. They make we know how far. Mm -hmm. Now that one I will consider. So I don't troll. Troll is for cowards. And poses, and then they do trolling. And our white people walk. I don't get that time. So, uh, when you want to cause people, you need to prepare yourself. And when you start the course, uh, bring out your righteous anger, all the sadness, all the emotion, all the trauma that you have, release them into the person. Do not hold anything back. Push your emotion, it's like transfer and give them. Put them inside the course. Focus on them. Transfer the thing for their body. Like I say, they wear them clothes. You finish them. You put them inside them. So, cursing people also helps to release you of pent up stress, pent up emotion, pent up anger, those demons, those negative attachment that is inside you. You also transfer it to other people. You transfer it to these people that deserve it. May they carry and they go. Okay? So it's good. It's a way of also cleaning your body. It's a way of cleaning you in a way. 
you need to know how to do this. So maybe these people come in to give you problem. They are kind of wanting to get all those stuff. You give it to them for free. And you move on with your life. After causing the people, you find yourself you're feeling better. You're feeling more satisfied, more fulfilled in life. Okay? And it doesn't end there or you should continue to cause them and continue to watch out for them. Some people that will take those courses, they will want to come and attack you. Creating enemies. Yes, if you create enemies, it's good. If you don't have enemies, you don't stand for anything. You should be ready for them. Life is a war process. It's not a place of peace. So we will always have enemies. If somebody chooses to make themselves my enemy, they are welcome. Mm -hmm. They are room. I always have room for, for them to get in line. Okay, so this is not a part of peace. It's not a part of kumbaya, holding hands, turning the other cheek. This is what is killing Africa. Loving your enemies. People that have been plundering you, stealing your stuff from, from beginning, you still forgiving them. Telling you that there's one place in heaven, Sugar Candy Mountain, why they are building their heaven and empire in front of you. You see pastors having private jets. They are not satisfied. Mansions everywhere, dressing like pimps. You giving them your money. You still forgive them on top of all these things they have done to you. Okay. Make you continue to forgive them. These are people you should be cursing 24 hours. Cursing them. Exposing them. So that you, your country will be a good country. So that your land will be better. So that your children will not follow their footsteps. But you will be praising them, endorsing them. Then tomorrow when your picking start to do Yahoo, you go see your picking, a bad picking. Tomorrow when you get children, where instead of thinking they are praying, they are looking for miracle, running from church to church. Pastors have used your children to become slaves, to build their empire. Because you fail to curse the evil people around you. This is the problem we have in Africa. You don't want to curse. But these people curse you every day. They curse you with their lifestyle. They curse you for your stupidity. They curse you with ignorance. Block knowledge from coming to you. Block good things from coming to you. They curse you with poverty. But you refuse to do anything. You forgive them. I Me, mean, I don't forgive anymore. I used to tell people that uh, if you do any harm, you will see any harm instantly. Meaning, if you misbehave right now, I am going to return it to you instantly. There are people that used to live for hope, saying that uh, we should be forgiving people, we don't know tomorrow. That mentality in a very stupid mentality. Me, I know my tomorrow. I know my tomorrow, so I need to take nonsense today. What I know be say, if you do any art today, you could see any art today. Now my, now my philosophy be that. So I need to live life because of tomorrow. Say, I know my, my tomorrow is secured. If I sabi cause, and I go fit tissue. If you want to learn how to cause people very well, watch my channel, register at my website, uh, River of Knowledge. I will teach you how to cause people very, very well. Okay? You can move this humanity forward. You should not keep quiet and allow people to be walking down on you. I am not a toothless bulldog. Okay? I am not a snake without venom. I have all these things. I will not hesitate to use them to defend myself to the best of my ability and capability. Okay, now so life be. So uh, this is what I have for you today. Questions or comments are welcome. Please like and share this video. If you want to do your spell work, healthy sparks and the whole nine yard love spell especially packs if you do packs you will have power to cost naturally okay so there are many things we'll still learn as uh, time goes on so you can contact me my book is still there waiting for you do call quantum face african spirituality for those people that are afraid of african spirituality i've been wondering about people that say they want to learn when they start the program they go they run they'll be running away this is not a thing to play, okay? This is not a book club. This is not a serious matter. Before you say you want to learn, you need to cross your hearts, okay? So please do not be afraid. Nobody is dying here. Nothing is going to 
take you away from this planet. Open your mind, absorb this knowledge, use it to benefit yourself, improve yourself, and uh, we move forward as a people. So, with that being said, I thank you all for watching. Those that have been supporting me, I thank you. And of course, quite naturally, I'll be seeing you in the next video as usual. So take care and bye. Peace.